Beautiful Leo musicians. Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are doing well and I thank you for stopping by again. We're going to be doing the Super Blue Full Moon in Pisces on the 30th of August 2023 for all the artists and entertainers. So thanks for stopping by. It is actually the second full moon in August and <coughs> excuse me, full moons always bring a, a turning point culmination breakthroughs breakdowns or endings now the influence of this full moon is about creative expression and artistic endeavors and the creative potential of a super blue full moon in Pisces can be quite immense Leo many artists musicians writers creators may also find themselves inspired by this cosmic energy to delve into their work and to also produce a masterpiece that touches a lot of people. Now with the Lenormand cards, we have the path. Now the path is about opportunities and, and uh, career growth. We've got the heart, which is you putting everything into your career. You know, you're very passionate at what you do and you put 110 percent in no less okay you've got the tower which is um you possibly preferring to work alone leo you know you may get a great mentor or you know this is um a long established career that you've been in and the underlying issue is the lily so this is a mentor that you may get You know, and uh, you may want to work on your own with the tower rather than working as a team because you're going to get more work done. Now, I feel like here, Leo, you're going to make a decision about your passions. I feel like this decision with the, um, the tower here is regarding a group or an establishment of some kind, your own independent establishment, you may want to make a decision about this and uh, you may decide to go solo in your music. But you are waiting for a decision and you're enjoying this restful period whilst you can. You know, it could be winter where you are and, uh, you know, things are a bit on a lull at the moment. But you're waiting alone on this decision. Now, how are you going to harness these energies of the super, uh, the super full blue moon is all about um, engaging in creative pursuits, you know, that resonate with your true soul. And uh, it could be painting, could be dancing, it could be sing a singer or your writer, but it's just about allowing that imagination to flow freely and to express your innermost thoughts and emotions. Now, we also have the fox. Now, the fox can represent someone that is a workaholic, Leo. And this could be before you've just decided to take some downtime. Or, you know, someone may be a bit sneaky and going behind your back in your music, just harassing you in some way. We have the bear. Now, the bear can represent that you will accomplish tasks that are put in front of you, Leo. You know, no matter how big or small they are, you'll get through them. You've got the strength to prevail over any obstacle that's in front of you. We've got the man here. Now, the man represents there is a need to be strong and to take charge. You know, this could be also a man that's going to play a significant role in your career here. And the underlying issue is the child. Now, you may be making a new start in career. You may be doing, um, working with children in your music. But, you know, I feel like you need to watch your money around this time also and start making some financial plans. You know, this is going to be a strategy and a man's intention, a life strength for a young man. Okay, so, uh, you know, maybe this is about the mentor that's coming in to put, uh, help you with a solo career. 
So you've got to start strategizing and uh, making sure you're financially equipped. And uh, it'll go from there. Now we have the owl has come up with your totem animal. And it says a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. So this could be, you know, um, someone harassing you perhaps or you making that decision about your group deciding to leave something that's established to go solo. There is uh, a lot at stake here and you're starting to uh, go within and uh, looking deep in yourself you know um, it's all about delving into to yourself delving into your feelings and um, you know being aware of indulging into negative or depressive tendencies it's a very, a very powerful time to set those long-term goals, sow the seeds for your future. I'm going to pull a card here from the Goddesses, Gods and Guardians Oracle cards and see what ties in with this reading for you guys. Okay. For our beautiful Leo musicians... For the full moon on the 30th of August 2023. Oh, that one flew right out. <laughs> okay, so we have Ogma. You need to watch your words. So you may be saying a few truths here, some half truths harsh words here. I'm just going to go to the book and open this up so I can relay what it means to you guys. There it is. Okay, so we've got Ogma, watch your words. Okay. Okay, so Ogma is uh, about Infusing your language with light, your words matter. So your words are going to matter in some sort of uh, context here. Um, whether you're making that decision, you're waiting on some news. It's going to lead you to standing, to his standing stone, etched in Ogham script. He places your hand upon the rough surface and speaks to you with a light-filled voice. Notice the words you use about yourself, others and the world. Spoken and written language carry energy that can shape your reality for better or for worse. Your body, mind and spirit respond to the way in which you describe yourself. If you say, for example, I'm useless, I can't do this. I'll never be any good. Your cells and vibrational intelligence believe these words. They go on to create experiences that reflect them. So you could be doing that whilst you're alone. You know, this is a card of reflection. Okay. But if you say, I'm good enough, I'm doing my best, I can succeed at this, then your energy shifts to create the truth. Your brain chemistry is influenced by what you say. Your mind is always seeking to show you evidence of what you speak about. Notice how you communicate with other people. Do your words lift them? Before you speak or write, <clears throat> ask yourself if you'd like to receive these words. You have the power to shift the world with language. So use it with care. Okay, this is where the bear's coming into it. It's very powerful. Pursue creative writing or submit a manuscript to publishers, okay? So you could have a manuscript of music that you need to submit. You need to learn a new language. You may be an inspirational speaker, so your words are going to be very important. Your words are going to have energy. Your words are going to have meaning. And visit Ogham Stone sites in Ireland and Britain. So this is where you could be from, guys. All the way over in Ireland or Britain. 
Now this is an invocation for you and you need to say it out loud or to yourself quietly. My words make a positive difference. I speak from my soul. So that's beautiful. So uh, whilst you're alone contemplating on, on a decision or waiting for a decision or opportunities come through, be mindful of your words because they're going to um, take on that energy, guys. So that's all I have for you, uh, Leo. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by again. If you like the reading, give me the likes. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It will help my channel immensely. I want to get these musicians' readings out there and um, right around the world to everybody to get some uh, insight for what's going on for us. Beautiful musicians. Love to you all. Bye for now.